Hey, you beautiful big heads, it's your boy Zach, and welcome back to some more Alchemy Stars. In today's video, we are showcasing Ryza, the new support for Victoria and just the actual good collab character. So, if you're new to this, how we do this is we do a kit breakdown, we do team stats, then we do team synergies, then we do sh the showcase, and then we just rate the Arroyan. So, without further ado, let's just hop on into this. So, before we start talking about any other collab characters, we must first go over the tactical point system. And pretty much, it's just a big passive lock behind point values that you will unlock progressively through the fight by doing various things. So, first going over the levels, at level 1, it increases all collab characters' final damage by 15% for their chain combos. At level 2, it makes a random uh, dark tile appear on the map. At level 3, both Ryza and Patricia's chain combo inflict one stack of burn. And if for Claudia, it's a stack of poison. At level 4, it increases the final damage of the collab character's active skills by 50%. At level 5, it generates an additional dark tile at a random location at the start of each round. At level 6, it increases the basic attack of the collab characters by 10%. And at level 7, it generates an additional dark tile at a random location so if you hit the level seven that's three dark tiles that will randomly appear every time on every turn so yeah pretty strong but that is the attack system and then how you get these points it varies from character to character but for riza herself when she is fully leveled up and um equipment refined she'll get 20 points whenever she uses her active skill and then she'll also get five points whenever she walks over a dark tile so that is how riza gets her points so starting out with riza's active skill grand chariot it is pretty much just big boom you just summon alchemical ball and big boom you know it does 300 percent damage to 21 surrounding tiles it has a two turn cooldown because it uses 20 points and that's ap points and all the club characters do share ap points on the team so technically you could run patricia on the team to steal her 20 points to use it two turns in a row and on top of that it has the absorption mechanic which it just pretty much absorbs any dark tiles on the field and turns them into red tiles and if you know the tile is both red and a dark tile then it counts as two dark tiles instead of one and once it does absorb a dark tile it does proc all effects that dark tiles will activate moving now to her chain combo shining blast and yeah it had pretty much all it is is, a, is just big damage um it's one of the best chain combos in the game it's two surrounding clusters so yes yeah, just big boom now if you do get her to bt3 big boom becomes a lot better because at bt3 big boom generates one random dark tile within this range at tiers two and three which is very nice and last but not least we have rises at equipment i'm gonna say active skill equipment skill which is alchemy teacher which pretty much just gives her access to the tactical system but when she does go through her refinements she does get the benefits of gaining tactical points from activating her active skill which will give her 20 and then she will also get five points for the tactical system when she walks over a dark tile off base she would just get 18 tactical points if she does activate her active skill all right so looking at rise's team stats starting out with her damage she is a four star in that regard because she she does some pretty solid damage that active skill is really nice with the amount of damage you can do and same with the chain combo and on top of that they can become stronger with the tactical system so yeah the potential of the damage you can do is really nice not theoretical the potential because you know you're slowly building it up as the fight progresses with the tactical system moving over to flexibility she is definitely a three because she's a pretty flexible character now she becomes more flexible with a dupe in her because then you know the primitive strike with the extra dark tile it just it's just mwah, chef kiss it just becomes so nice so good you know she becomes more self-sufficient which then allows her to be even more flexible but yeah so nice nice in the middle and 30 stars with her flexibility because she is still bound for the most part if you really want to get the most out of her to a fire dark tile team because then she could suck them up pop all their effects and then also you know build the tactical system faster but she can work outside of the Fire Dark Tile team. You just won't be seeing all the benefits that you could on the Fire Dark Tile team. And then when it comes to investment, her investment is like four stars because it's, it's, it is a high investment because, you know, once you pull her and, you know, you got to level eight her and then get the equipment refinement, that's a lot already. But then, like, she's good, right? Like, Ryza is good at BT0 or BT2, how everyone look at it, it's the same thing. But she becomes so much better at BT3 because it's just like, it's just like that missing piece of a puzzle that you just slap right there and you're like man this, this just feels right she just feels a lot better with that bt3 right so the fact that she just feels more complete with the bt3 is why i'm putting that extra star in the into the investment which makes it so high but yeah that, that's this is her team stats all right now when it comes to the character synergies with ryza they're, they're pretty straightforward because um yeah <laughs> they all have to do with dark tiles so the converter she works good with is algo and batia batia because she makes the dark tiles, but also she can turn the burn that uh, Ryza gets from the tactical system into inflame and Algo makes it lots of dark tiles. So then she can turn those dark tiles into red tiles and also boost up Algo because of the absorption mechanic. So she can have the dark tiles prior to doing damage. 
when it comes to supports, you have um, Nail Sacred Right, who, you know, plays down Dark Tashi, absorb those, turn those into red again, and then also heal by sucking up his little altar things. Uh, and then if you have her at BT3, it's Vaughn can work because then you're popping your chain combo twice, which will then allow you to get two Dark Tiles instead of the one. And then last but not least, when it comes to DPS that work good with her, you have Patricia, who was literally made to work on alongside her, so she can give her an extra active skill cast and also give her access to level seven of the tactical system. But then also you have Victoria, who will just do lots of damage with her because she can proc all of Victoria's little special effects, such as getting back sanity and also popping the damage on the enemies who have been marked with the um the little blood mark that you get with her. All right, so in the what the ninety six floor of the tower, yeah ninety six, yeah 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 yeah, that sounds about right. We're in ninety six, and you see this main state is so. We'll see how good this team is. Now it would be nice if we could um have Patricia, but. My Patricia, my Patricia, I burped while I'm trying to speak. It does not work out good. My Patricia isn't worked on, so yeah, it's not really optimal, as the kids would say. So yeah, I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna pop you. No, we're not. Dumb. Okay, I, I marked. I just completely forgot. I'm gonna throw that right there. Kaboom. And then we're gonna go in here and kill everything because we're just that strong. All right, that should be wave one done, if I'm not stupid. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I need to face the mic. I got my head up instead of straight for some reason. Let me just readjust it. There we go. All right, die. Yep. 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 Wow, that is not great. Um, 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 um. Run away. Hit you. Fook you, no fook me. Uh, throw this at your face, because before we do that, nails. Now we, hello? Now we throw it at your face. Mink. And then you take more damage from that. And now I hide behind this other one. Die <laughs> to burn. <laughs> Kill yourself. Yes, die for me. <laughs> Let's see how we do this. Mark right there. Bang, bang, bang. Get the damage. Throw it at you. You should kill yourself. Mink. And then we're just going to slither on in there. Look at the. It's just working so smoothly. Okay, just stop touching me. And then we're going to use Batia. Ooh, we got the line? Now I don't know what to do with myself because I'm like, well, I wasn't expecting the Schweiner. Uh, because now I want to hold on to that. Because I like that one. You over there. Shut up. i just do that for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit me all you want. Uh, we could kill them this turn. Uh man, having so many options is actually detrimental to my little brain because I'm just like, I have so many options, I don't know what to do with myself. We'll just do that. Yep, we're just going to keep on walking around. Alright, man, I'll pick it up. Wait, I oh, fucked up. <laughs> no! Ugh. Okay, I'll kill you. Get out of here. I didn't want to use no abilities. Well, we lost a turn by accident. Purely by accident, me fucking around too much. So, we're going to place that there. Then, I'm going to do this. Like that. I cannot mark you. That's great. I'm rolling my eyes even though you can't see it. Since we cannot mark you, I get this. Ah, we get a kill this turn, by the way. If we could mark them, we can't mark them. But they can't hit us either. Wait a minute. Move out the way. 12 health. Poison. Please don't kill. I could have healed, but I chose not to. Okay, we're good. We are good. Now, I mark you. I heal. Oh, you put it in the best spot, baby. 
And then I activate you. I like how I've honestly been hoarding Patricia. I said Patricia, fucking sorry, it's late. Ryza. I've been hoarding Ryza's active. Jesus Christ, I had Patricia on my mind. Because I was talking about her earlier. My brain just holds a placeholder for the last thing I talked about. Naturally. But yeah, no, that should be pretty decent. She should be pretty... Oh no, she's dead. Okay. Well, on a side note, um, had a good day with the missus. We went on a little, you know, night out together. And yeah, no, very nice, very chill. We went to go see Deadpool. That movie is fucking amazing. I don't care what anybody says. It's a fucking masterpiece. If anybody thinks otherwise, they're wrong. You know, it's just that simple. Um, fair was nice. We ate lots of food, which is all I go to the fair for, man. I don't, I don't go to the fair for anything else other than food because I am the smartest man on earth because that's all you should go to a fair for. Not healing. I'm going to throw this and you should die. Bink. Okay, he lives. I don't like that. Okay. Now I could use Ryza and get a lot of damage off. You know what? I am going to use Ryza and get that. I, I kind of, yeah. No, up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. All of you die. It's actually pretty good. Maybe we can just run on in here. Please kill them because I, I, I did this thinking they would die, by the way. I don't like fighting these things. They, they annoy me. Okay. We're good. He's going to swing on me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark him and run. That's what a smart person does. Alright, then we... Did I get my skill first? D -d 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 okay, we got it. Now. This is where the fun begins, because we have all our skills available. And now she becomes our bitch. But, oh yeah, and uh, Top Golf. Yeah, that's the last thing we did. Um, so, yeah, fair, ate lots of food, and then Top Golf. Top Golf was fun. I've never played golf before. It was my first time ever playing golf. But, let me just tell you, I did, I did okay. <laughs> I did pretty good. It was fun. You know, would I do it again? Probably not, because it's very expensive for not much time. In our actuality, after seeing how much was paid for the amount of time that we spent there. Yeah, no, but if somebody else pays again, then I would totally do it because, you know, it was fun as shit, but the prices just did not line up to what I thought was reasonable, at least. Put those there. Uh, put that right there, one in front of me, and then... Is that red? Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, so one in front of me, because it would change regardless, and then the other one all the way up there. We're gonna use Ryza. This should be. Oh uh, no, we didn't mark her. Oh, did we mark you? I don't know. I'm marking you. You're marked now. And now, Ryza, take it away. Big damage. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's stupid. And then we just run on around. And then, yeah, well, now we just wait for the next big move. Nice and easy, baby. And we got 86 Addy. We can learn to sell ourselves again. Alright, you stupid idiot. Take this. Katui! And then, what are you doing? I don't know. I should have enough health. I should be fine. He says, confidently, as of right now. Uh, I'm just gonna move back. Let me see what you do. What will you do, Onoki? Ouch! Oh, that hurt. But you know what hurts even more, stupid bitch? Take this. <laughs> I, I, I didn't think that would kill. <laughs> okay. Oh, we won. She's, um, she's pretty good. You know, obviously Victoria does stupid shit, but yeah, no. Ryza, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. You know, just stockpiling points to do dumb shit later on is always nice as well. So yeah, there, 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 there's a showcase. Uh, tch, fun. Very fun, very nice. But I don't know if I say anything about Top Golf. Oh yeah, too pricey. Um, yeah, I was shit at first, got better. I unlocked the skills of Tiger Woods. There you go. Let's go to the um, what is it? Rating. That's what it is. It's, it's late. Don't 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 come at me. I'll I'll. All right, so hopping right on into rating Ryza. She's an S character, and if you have her at BT3, she's an SS character because that you know free dark tile on top of having her active skill right away. It's just so nice, man. She has high attack. She's good without BT3, but she's a lot better with it. You can use her without BT3 quite easily. You just have to, you know, get a good team around her. And the other characters will probably want to have, you know, some breakthroughs in them as well. 
The tactical system is absurd. It gives such strong buffs. And then she's pretty much Goaty meets Menos if you have the BT3 because she'll generate the Dark Tiles and then also absorb the Dark Tiles. So yeah, it's just, mm, just such goodness all in one character. The only problem with her is the Dark Tiles are random, so that sucks. So it makes it a little bit harder to play around. And then another bad is she is a collab character, which means if you do not get her now, you probably would not be able to get her later. Like that, that's just a bad, you know, because people who come on down later, people who come to the game later on down the line would probably want Ryza, but the chances of you getting her later on are really low because again, collab characters do not really come back like that. The only time they have come back has been Dragon Maid. And other than that, we haven't got Persona 5 back yet. So yeah, she is looking like a really good pool that many people should go for. But apart from that, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like, I'm subscribe for the good stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Love you guys and bye-bye.